Images are important assets for any site. They can be used to tell a story, display portfolio work, or even act as a background in a section. Now, in this lesson, we're gonna show you how to add image elements, how to change their size and position, and lastly, how to customize and crop. Now, we're gonna assume you have your images already downloaded to your desktop and ready to upload. Hopefully, you've already checked to make sure it isn't a crazy large file size, and VEV will optimize images when you convert them, but don't be that person who uploads a 20 megabyte file. Now, the easiest way to add an image element is to directly drag and drop the image from your desktop directly to your canvas, just like this. This is great for two reasons. First, it's less steps, and second, it adds the image at the preset resolution. Now that we've added the image, we can start to size and position. So in terms of sizing, you can do a few things. You can drag the image to any size, but this will impact the proportions of the image. Instead, a recommended approach is to hold the shift key and drag to make sure we proportionally scale the image. Another way to size is to use a style panel and directly manipulate the image size by pixels or percentage. Moving on to positioning, the same rules apply. You can simply drag and drop the image to be anywhere on your canvas, or you can use the style panel to again, visually manipulate the position. Guides are also a great tool to use when sizing and positioning images since you're able to snap to the grid you've already set for your design. This will help to eliminate any guesswork. Now we're ready to customize and crop the image. So when you select the image, you'll notice this option within the style panel for cropping. By clicking on the image icon, we can reveal the full options. We have a couple of items here. We can set the image to auto crop, this will set the preset crop we have here and keeps the image to the size we have set. We can set it as contained. This keeps the image resolution, but fits the image into the width of the container. You'll notice the image doesn't take the full height of the container anymore. And lastly, we have it set to be stretched to fill. This resizes the image to the given dimensions and stretches or squishes to fit. For obvious reasons, this is not recommended. Most times we're gonna set the image to auto crop and play with the cropping percentage value here. You can also manipulate this value directly by using the focal target tool. This is great if you wanna capture that perfect moment in your image. Now say you've uploaded quite a few images to your project and wanna access your image library. You can do this by going to the top toolbar and selecting the image tool dropdown and clicking on open image library. This will take you to all your project images and let you search for images in preloaded stock libraries like Unsplash and Pixabay. Now going back to your project images, you can hover over an image to reveal more options. By clicking on things like info, we can change things like the name of your image. We can even add a photographer name. And lastly, we can edit the description or alt text. Now it is best practice to ensure all your images have alt text for SEO. Now as a bonus, we're gonna cover how to add an image as a section background. First, we're gonna add a section to our canvas and set the height to anything we'd like. For this, I'm gonna set it as 600 pixels. Then we can go to our style panel and select the background option. This will open up a menu for us to select an image as a background. We can click on select image to open our library and choose an image from there. Now you can also add an overlay by selecting an additional fill background, making sure it appears above the image layer like this. Then we can change the alpha or transparency level to something like 30% or 50%. And there you have it. You now have a complete image background with legible text. And that's been an overview of adding and editing images in the design editor.